Chiang Mai itself is nestled in basically a cradle of beautiful mountains all the way around it. It's a stunning city to be in. Any cities that have mountains around them, they've just got so much more depth and height, obviously, to them. Thailand differs markedly from Vietnam and Laos. In contrast, Thailand seems like a first world country. The roads are really good, just superb. You know, you're afforded a great view of range after range of mountains and forest. The food is absolutely stupendous. It's a very healthy diet, a lot of fish, a lot of vegetables, a lot of fruit. And the night markets were very exotic. There's a lot of action going on, and here everyone's a little vendor who specializes. Somebody's got fish, and somebody's selling fruit. It's just all very individualized merchandise there, which is kind of fun to peruse and look at. Under celestial lanterns that illuminate the place in a lovely way. Thailand felt for sure a touristic area, but because we rode the back roads, we see parts of Thailand that tourists, they don't go. So it amazed me to ride my bicycle through village after village, among the rice fields, at the banana field plantation, It's remote, but at the same time, we have things to see and to visit. So for me, it's not the Thailand that my friends know. All the temples, they're so ornate. They're so wildly colorful with a mix between Buddhism and Hindu. And the monks in their saffron. And then also some of the ancient ruins. You know, the architecture is truly marvelous, inspiring. It harkens back to a culture of antiquity and great mystery. So that was also interesting to behold. The Golden Buddha was uh, very challenging. We were still having fun when it was tough. Ah! It was challenging, but I think just enough. Yeah, for me, it was a good challenge.